SOLIDWORKS is a three-dimensional, computer-aided design modeling software. It is similar in function to Autodesk Inventor and PTC's Creo. What sets these software packages apart from other software packages like Google SketchUp is that they are parametric. Parametric means that there are parameters that are stored with the part that can be changed or modified during and after the part is created. This allows for modifications to be made easily to the part in the event a change is needed. It is not usually necessary to delete the part and to start over to make a change, but you need to think about how to make the part before starting. We will discuss this in more detail later. SOLIDWORKS is used to make electronic models of parts and assemblies. This is most commonly done for product design and development. These models can be used to check fit and function before making physical prototypes. They can also simulate loading conditions to verify strength of a design. These are a few of the many uses. You will be using SOLIDWORKS to create your own designs. You will then export the 2D and 3D data to use the digital fabrication equipment in the Century College Fab Lab. Before we get started, I want to take a moment to discuss the process you should be thinking about when creating parts in SOLIDWORKS. When we create parts in SOLIDWORKS, we will not do it in one step, but multiple steps. In each step, we'll be adding or removing material. In SOLIDWORKS, these are called features. So when starting a part, think of the fundamental shape of the part. Create that feature. Then add or remove material with additional features to create your final shape. Beyond that, you can also use Design Intent to help drive your design. To learn more about Design Intent, please take the ECAD 1025 How to Make Almost Anything class. Let's get started by learning how to start SOLIDWORKS.